in $50 an ounce silver. Well, the old high on silver was 50. If you remember the Hunt brothers uh, back in the 80s, they made a run on the cornering the silver market. It got to 50. But uh, I think, you know, sure, silver is going to break out. And it's an interesting play because it's both an industrial metal as well as a precious metal. And I just look at the gold because this is the one that the central banks and the global economies and the global currencies key on the, on the gold market. On top of that, if you can look at silver and say, yes, silver will piggyback gold and probably on a percentage basis outperform gold. But in terms of talking about macroeconomics, gold is, is the one issue that everyone has now got to come to terms with. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong from your research, but the central banks have tried to suppress the price of uh, gold for decades because it competes with their fiat derivative uh, you know, counterfeit instruments. Uh, now it appears that they're beginning to at least partially capitulate uh, to the fact that uh, gold is not going to be able to be suppressed. Well, that plus another major factor. Um, is that the industry itself, the biggest producers uh, of gold miners, the biggest gold miners in the world have for the past 25 years had large short positions where they were hedging their gold production books. Uh, these big producers are now closing down their hedged positions. They are now buying back all of their short positions. They're going all in. They realize that at the current cost, uh, their rough, their cost of Four hundred or five hundred or six hundred dollars an ounce to produce gold. It makes no sense to hedge their books at all. It makes no sense to hedge uh, to sell short any gold. They totally uh, don't believe now when they hear Wall Street and the central banks are going to try to uh, lease out gold to keep the price to artificially suppressed, as you just mentioned. So the industry itself is saying we're all in. We're no longer hedged. We're buyers of gold. Hedge funds are big buyers of gold. Central banks are buyers of gold. Uh, foreign governments are big buyers of gold. Now, the one buyer, the one absent in this equation is the retail investor. Less than 1% of the $1 trillion or so of investable uh, assets around the world, less than 1% is, in, is invested in gold. That's right. Now, and when they finally come to the party, that's when we could see the $5,000 announce is what the economists are saying. I mean, because they still remember the media saying, don't buy gold, invest in Enron, and they're still holding on to penny stock Enron and, and, and sending me emails saying I'm a kook. You know, I said invest in gold when it was 260 bucks. Now it's up at 1300 and they're sending me emails saying I'm a piece of trash. And I mean, they really believe in Enron stock. Gold, here, here's the way to think of it, Alex. Gold right now is still in a bear market. It hasn't even started its bull market. Even after nine straight years of 20% gains, compared to the gains that will come once this market sets, gets, gets hot. And that's because they've artificially suppressed it for decades. That's right. So you'll see gaps of $200, $300 moves in a day. That, that's what we're talking about. Then it'll be a real bull market. Then everybody will be buying gold. Then you're talking $5,000 an ounce. Then politically, it'll completely transform economic. Will there ever the be a time to dump it? Yeah, of course. But at that point, uh, in other words, you want to be in a position where you can sell gold uh, and you're able to buy assets uh, for uh, incredible bargains. And that brings that the time. new problem. They've got... Uh, Democratic operatives mainly trying to come in and demonize the entire gold market uh, just because of Glenn Beck. Uh, and I, I don't see that being effective. Well, the government, the federal government, here's, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, as the price gets higher, it becomes more of a problem because it, it, it shows, it shines a negative light on the system, the banking system, the fiat currency system. As it gets higher, you're going to hear about uh, such things as, well, maybe gold should be taxed at an exorbitant rate as, as a way to try to control uh, gold ownership. Of course, confiscation they've tried before. But you've already uh, paid taxes on the money that you used to buy the gold. Yeah, but I'm saying that I, they could say for gold, th th this administration has incredible power. I mean, the Obama deception is, unfortunately, it's all too real. You know, they took all of the abusive powers of the Bush administration and they've repackaged it as the Obama administration. They've got incredible powers. They could simply say anyone who owns gold is a terrorist and we're going to tax you 90%. Oh, yeah, they're, they're set to pass amnesty this week. Nobody wants it and they just say we don't care. <laughs>
So the, you can't put anything by him. There's no rule of law. There's no there's no justice. I mean, so this is the, this is going to be the problem on the other end of the equation. If gold will go to five thousand. Then the problem is going to be the tax problem. It's going to be the confiscation problem. There will be other problems with it. It's not going to be a smooth sailing, and it's just not going to be a straight shot to five thousand and game over. There's always there's a great. It's all as always. All markets are always dynamic. There's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts. But clearly, the trend for gold is higher. When do you see it being five thousand? Uh, answer that when we come back. Max Kaiser is our guest. We'll get into England, and that's a trend they want to set up here, where all paychecks are seized by the government. No, you can't make this up. That's the headline at Infowars.com. British government to seize all paychecks. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Global meltdowns, massive unemployment, endless wars, a new currency crisis, financially and morally bankrupt. A great and terrible storm is approaching. So what's the best way to get ready to get prepared for hard times ahead? In producing Off the Grid News, a weekly newsletter for independent patriots who want practical advice on how to survive and prosper in an increasingly dangerous world. It's the best way to get a black belt in emergency preparedness, survival skills, and off-the-grid living. Off the Grid News is fiercely independent all about self-reliance and packed with helpful information on survival gardening, food preparation, alternative energy, herbal medicines, privacy and security, as well as God, gold, and guns with absolutely no apologies. And the best part, this $100 a year service is now free of charge for our listeners. That's right, free for our listeners who sign up at offthegridnews.com. That's offthegridnews.com. You can sign up free at offthegridnews.com. Offthegridnews.com. You've seen our Sinofresh banner on the GCN website. Yet your sinusitis is still a problem. Are you waiting for your sinusitis to go away by itself? Are you waiting for a Sinofresh discount? Okay, here it comes. But first, the facts. 67 other products merely treat symptoms and not the cause of sinus problems. And 37 million Americans suffer from sinus distress just like you. But now many are finding relief with the only patent-protected homeopathic nasal product that antiseptically eliminates the known causes of sinusitis. Sinofresh. Now. Now, here's your limited time discount offer to use Sinofresh. Call 888-906-3636 right now for $2 off per bottle when you mention GCN. That's it. Just call 888-906-3636 and mention GCN for a $2 discount. But hurry, this offer is only for the first 1,000 customers. Call 888-906-3636, 888-906-3636. Call right now for $2 off per bottle. Mention GCN. Buy Sinofresh.com. It works. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. You worry. You see the signs and worry about the future. You worry about economic turmoil and food shortages. How to be prepared while preserving your sanity? Your answer may be at hand. Author Linda Runyon lived off the land, isolated from civilization. She knows that as long as the sun shines, there will be plenty of free food all over God's green earth. Perhaps the only sane insurance is knowledge of wild edible plants. The cost of learning is minimal. Wild food grows everywhere and you will see it everywhere. It's every bit organic and more nutritious than our modern diets. Well respected in her field, Linda's approach to teaching this subject includes books, flashcards and video with an emphasis on health, safety, practicality and joy. Learn how to identify it, where and when to find it, how to prepare, use and store it. Go to Linda's website, ofthefield.com, and take advantage of special offers. Or if you're not online, call her 24-hour toll-free order line at 888-51-EAT-FREE. That number again, 888-51-EAT-FREE. A little knowledge makes starvation impossible. Max Kaiser's our guest, maxkaiser.com. We're going to get into the casino gulag. 
The latest developments on that front, the economy we're phasing over to coming up. Uh, but, Max, uh, I want to get into British government to seize all paychecks. That's up on Infowars.com, our detailed article. CNBC uh, has its own headline about how good it is. Uh, UK proposes all paychecks go to the state first. Uh, but before we get to that, when do you see gold going up above uh, 1300 1500 uh, 2000 well, it's been uh, appreciating at about 21% a year for the past uh, now nine years. And so that's the path that it's on. I think that we can look forward to seeing it make those types of moves. So uh, let's call it 20%. So, uh, you know, you're talking five, $600 a year at this point. Um, and, you know, just keeping making leaps and bounds, continuing to go higher. Yeah, I mean, it's exponential. Once it gets to 2000 you know, then it jumps quickly to 3000 one, yeah, once once it'll attract it'll attract that retail investor. There'll be a buying panic. It'll overshoot. I mean, the fair market value for gold is probably somewhere between five and ten thousand. But it'll overshoot, just like the housing market overshoots, the dot com overshoot. Uh, you know, all markets overshoot both on the upside and the downside. The real estate market in America, the fair market value is probably twenty percent down from where it is now. But it'll overshoot. It'll go down to another fifty or sixty. But as usual, the yuppies won't invest till right at the when the bubble's about to burst. Well, they'll be, you know, the, the classic sign is when, you know, you're, you're jumping a cab and the cab driver's talking about all the gold they're buying. I mean, it, people think that it, gold is widely owned at this point. Because yeah, when the shoe shine boy's telling you to buy gold, get out. Yeah, that this is a fame. Well, you know, at some point when it becomes just. Uh, you know, like the dot com craze. I remember Barbara Streisand was calling our office to buy shares of. You know, it just became an insane mania, like the dot com mania. Gold should get into a dot com mania, which means it's going to overshoot on the upside. It's a very limited supply. There's only there's less than three and a half trillion dollars of available gold. There's seven hundred trillion dollars in bad derivatives and bad debt. Try forcing you know hundreds of trillions of dollars worth of bad debt through a very small aperture, which is the current gold price, and something's got to give, and that's the price. So you're talking about $3,000 an ounce gold in five years? Well, you know, I'm just saying that uh, 24, 20, uh, 3, 000, as he said, 18, 2. I mean, I'm looking for just... Uh, you get into a sucker's game when you start to try to pick the price and the time because you say, well, I've got time, and I'm going to wait, and I'll buy it right before it moves. You know, That's a sucker's play. The thing to do is just to steadily accumulate a position every month, every quarter, just keep accumulating. If you just followed that simple strategy for the last eight years, you would have the best-performing asset by, by a factor of several hundred percent over almost yeah, every no, other it's, asset out there. It's now right at four times uh, what it was, but, uh, again, the yuppies don't don't get involved because they're so no, just smart. Get, just have a, a steady accumulation pattern and let the market work for you. Don't look work for the market. You just you do your steady accumulation, let this thing play out, and you'll see where it's going. Don't try to double-guess it or out-guess okay. it or trade it. Let's shift gears now. Talk about Gulag. Uh, they, they want automatic transfer in the U.S., in Europe. They're tracking everything we do in our bank accounts. Now the British government, and they wanted a VAT increase, they got it. Now they're saying everyone's paycheck will go digitally to the government. Then they'll give you what they think. This is actually quoted, you deserve. So they can just raise taxes out of nowhere. I mean, what will the Brits not put up with? British government to seize all paychecks. That is clearly a portend for the rest of the world. Your, Max Kaiser, your take on that? Sure. Well, that's the gulag part of the equation. And don't forget the casino part of the equation. Okay, but the, clearly the gulag is alive and well in Britain. And uh, the government going through this phase of uh, taking your pay and then allocating your pay is a step toward the pure command and control uh, economy. Uh, where I mean, Hugo Chavez didn't even... Stalin didn't even do that. They They're very frightened because the... Banks are still going to announce. This should tell you that the banks are still going to announce massive write downs in the next six to twelve months. The biggest banks in the world are obviously about to say that they have another fifteen to twenty trillion dollars in bad debt. So That's they not the only, only need your pension fund; they now need your entire paycheck. And if you don't like it, a SWAT team will drop by. Right. So that—that's why the UK government is telegraphing this fact. In other words, there's.